Richard Fortan, Globe Trotter. Tell yep. me where you've been and uh, where are you going? Well, the last two weeks have been really fun because. Do you want me looking in the camera? No, nope, talking to me right here. Right yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Perfect. I rather that. Yeah. Uh, the last two weeks have been really interesting for me. I had an unexpected opportunity to go travel to Germany uh, to see a friend of mine. Uh, who I hadn't seen in two years because of the COVID shutdown. We had been split. Uh, she had been in Asia. I had been back here in North Bay and not able to travel, and same with her. So uh, we ended up reconnecting due to unfortunate circumstances that her mom passed. But um, I, I went to visit in Germany, and uh, we got to work again. And we align in terms of our love and passion for yoga and all things yoga. Uh, so what was interesting is while I was there, we were developing her yoga brand and one of the things that I'm pretty excited about because I'm also developing sort of a merch brand uh, to help artists diversify their income streams and I had set up a Shopify store and I'm, I'm sort of learning a lot about merchandising. I had always wanted to have like an ethical, you know, clothing supply. And because um, she's partnered with a Rainbow Moon yoga company that does these great yoga pants and they want to pay everybody equitably, they're manufacturing in Portugal. So now all of a sudden I'm helping with the marketing effort to build a yoga pant company based in Europe and they need somebody to help them market in North America. Oh wow. So the, the uh, dots kind of all came together that uh, for personal reasons, uh, I ended up going to Germany and finding a great business opportunity, uh, which I'm really excited about. And uh, and then I made a little stop on the way because the cheapest flight had me laid over in Paris for 24 hours. So I thought, why not make the most of it and just go right into the heart of the beast and enjoy a little French culture oh, cool. for, for an evening on my own on, on the way back. So I got to uh, have breakfast at the Eiffel Tower yesterday and enjoy a little bit of the Champs-Élysées, you know, just doing the touristy thing and enjoying a, a night in Paris on my own, which was great. I'm here for the afternoon loading up the van. I just landed this morning. I'm loading up the new van for its first official road trip going to a festival that, oh, well, it's a conference. It's a music festival, a film festival, and a um, interactive media conference, one of the biggest in North America called South by Southwest, SXSW, in Austin, Texas. And this is like usually 35,000 people from around the, the world, uh, in particular in, in the States, though, where they go to do business in terms of tech, new media, um, arts, culture, uh, video production, film production. It's sort of my dream come true. I, I had gone there four years ago when I started RFP Media and I said when I come back I'm gonna have my company organized and I'm gonna be able to do business. It took me three years longer than I thought to come back and then of course there was COVID so they didn't have the last two years but I purchased this ticket three years ago and now I'm going this afternoon for a 22-hour road trip to Austin, Texas in the van, the first RFP Media asset. So it's really kind of a, a dream come true to be able to go back to South By as a company looking to land some business. And uh, and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm, I'm just packing up and you snagged me in the hallway here as I was walking by so I'm really happy to share with everybody that that's happening because when I'm at South By by the way I of course sell North Bay because for these companies to come and produce media here it's not just the RFP media little team I have I think that would attract them I think what would attract a company or a film or somebody who's really investing in media creation is the assets that Canadore College is developing over the years. Uh, the film industry, uh, what are we calling it, in its infancy, but definitely an established film industry in North Bay. So, uh, of course, I, the city of North Bay and economic development know I'm going and have supported me to make sure that I know just um, 
you know, how good these companies have it by coming to produce media content in North Bay specifically. So yeah, here I am uh, living the dream, living the dream of an entrepreneur. And uh, you just scored a good sponsor for your show too? Big news. It's, it's, uh, it's big, big news for Richard Forte Presents. So halfway through last year, I always wanted to have a podcast and, and bring attention to the arts and culture and entertainment industry. And uh, it was all shut down. And so I just decided instead of hoping and pitching somebody on an idea, why not create some examples? Start, put the work in, do one show a week, and just get to work. And I did that from May to the end of January. I produced 30 shows of Richard Fortin Presents with highlighting different artists who were getting through the COVID pandemic by turning into their practice, doing a little interview sh show. On the 30th show, I said, I can't just do this alone anymore. I, I would really need a sponsor. And so I put a call out to the community saying, I would really need a sponsor and appreciate any support I can get. And I was so happy to hear from Canador College that decided to, uh, to take me up on that. So for six months, I'm going to produce one show a week sponsored by... Canador College and this to me is like uh, a the dream client the perfect client and uh, but also a kind of a nudge that says just keep going keep trying don't give up it might take 30 it might take 300 it might take 3,000 shows but y if you stick to it good things could happen All so right. that, that's the news well that's great well, uh, have a good road trip. Best of luck. Thank you, Dave, and thanks for your support. And uh, I hope we get to do a few things in the coming months together. Well, you know we will. Seeing my office is right down the road, right down the hallway. <laughs> it's great. No, uh, wishing you all the luck and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for your support along over the years. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was great. It's been my pleasure. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man.